Hey guys, today we're going to create a mock-up of Apple.com. So if you guys uh, want to see what we got, this is where we're going to end up with here. Uh, you can see we've got most of what Apple.com consists of here, with the first couple div uh, divs containing the iPhone, the, the Apple Watch, the iMac, the iPhone again, and then ours, as you can see here, looks pretty similar all the way down to move someone this holiday. Alright, so if you guys want to follow along here and recreate Apple.com with me, then head on over to CodePen. That's where we're going to get started. So, let's open up the body tag first, and our first uh, div is going to have a class of header, and this is where we are going to store the, or place the top uh, header that you see locked at the top here as we scroll along Apple.com. So let's go ahead and give our first div a class of header. Uh, now we're going to open up another div within this here. And in this div within header, we're going to nest all of the span elements that are going to make up the text that we see along the top here. So again, if you guys are new to HTML, uh, what span is going to do is it places the elements uh, all in the same line instead of creating or putting the next line or the next text on the next line below. So let's go ahead and add that in there. So we got Mac, um, iPhone, iPad, all right, uh, we got the watch. All right, we got the TV. And as you guys can see, these elements here are popping up along the bottom of the screen. Uh, we're going to add the styling for those in just a second here. So now we're going to go ahead and add uh, music and support. All right. There we go. So now that we've got those elements, let's close out the div that they're nested within, and we'll close out the div that we gave the class of header. So now let's head over and quickly add some uh, styling so we can watch this as it's being built here. So let's go ahead and first add a font. So Apple apparently does not have their font available or the one they have on their website is not available to use uh, very easily but there is one called uh, San Francisco which is somewhat similar to what they have going on there so we're gonna use that so we're gonna create a font face by uh, using the key tag uh, at and then font face and just uh, if you guys are starting with CSS try to memorize the syntax this is how you're going to import font families you want to use in the future into your uh, web pages so let's go ahead and say font family and we're gonna call it San Francisco Cisco alright now we want to add a font weight here and this is going to be 400. So guys, when you're using font weight, uh, another thing you can do is just put bold. But if you want to specify uh, more more accurately what uh, what how heavy the font should be, uh, what kind of or how heavy the bold should be, then you can specify a number there as well. Uh, next, we're going to do uh, the URL that has the source of our font. So that's going to be HTTPS um, colon backslash backslash Apple Social dot s3 dot amazon aws dot com backslash assets backslash styles backslash fonts backslash san francisco san francisco all right and san francisco display backs our slash or dash regular dash web font dot w o f f all right, and make sure you have uh, quotes around that as well, and then we'll set that up. So now that will import our font for us. So now if we want to use this font in our CSS, what we do is we just specify that the font family is San Francisco. So now let's go ahead and add some quick styling for the body. Uh, you guys will see when we add in the header element, there will be some margin along the sides and along the top if we don't remove all the padding that comes with the body. So. Uh, let's go ahead and first set our uh, body background color here to hashtag FAFAFA. -A -A -A. Uh, we'll give our font family and make it uh, again San Francisco like we created above there. Cisco. All right. 
and we'll do a margin at zero and padding zero. Now again, this will just remove uh, the little bit of extra spacing that appears that that would separate what will be our uh, nav bar from the top of the page. So now we're going to give our header class some styling here, and we're going to say display grid, uh, grid template columns. 1FR and what we're doing here guys is uh, creating the display using CSS grid in order to make the navbar dynamic instead of uh, more instead of static so when the someone is expanding the page um, the navbar will adjust its size accordingly so now that we've got that uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it a background color of hashtag 323232 um, an opacity of 0.96 and what this will do is opacity is going to adjust the background of the or adjust the the background color so it's slightly transparent so when we're scrolling down you guys will see over here when we scroll down you can still see like iPhone X and say hello to the future and even the picture of the iPhone as we scroll down just a little bit behind the nav bar so now that we've got that, uh, let's go ahead here and give ourselves a height of 2.7 EM, a width of 100%, a color that is hashtag FAFAFA, which will give our text the white color there. Uh, next, we want to go ahead and say text align, and that'll be in the center and we want to align the items in the center as well so now this align items keyword is uh, mostly for within CSS grid so this will take the text align will bring our text our span elements into the middle of the page and then the align items is going to align them uh, vertically as well so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we're going to give it a position that is fixed so the reason we are doing this is because when we scroll here we want our nav bar to maintain its position at the top of the page and not uh, not stick to the top of the page as we're scrolling so we're going to give it a fixed position so it won't move as we scroll alright so now let's head back to our HTML here and now we are going to go ahead and create the div that is going to contain the iPhone X image here and this text as well so let's go ahead here and say, uh, let's go ahead and say div with a class of x container, and we'll add our tag there. All right, and now we're going to put a span within this with an ID of x, and this is going to have our iPhone X text. And again, we're going to style this uh, in just a moment here. So now we're going to create another div with the ID of x hello. And for this, we are going to put the text, say hello to the future. All right. And we'll add a period in there. All right, looks good. Now we want to create a div with the ID of XPIC. And this, again, guys, these IDs can be whatever you guys specify them to be. But if you're following along, uh, I'm using these IDs to style them later on. So if you're using your own or using different IDs or different classes, say, to use for styling this, just go ahead and uh, adjust that here. And then when we're styling it in the CSS, just make sure that uh, you switch that over as well. So there we go. We've got our div of the ID of XPIC. And within here, we are going to put the uh, image that is going to be the iPhone X. So we're going to say the source is https uh, backslash backslash s31.postimg.org. And now, guys, what this is here is just the just the link to the source of the picture so if you guys want to grab a picture you go over to that picture uh, you want to right click on it and you can say copy image address and then you can just post that in there make sure it ends with like an image extension like PNG or IMG and then it'll pop up for you guys so now actually instead of uh, typing out this whole URL because I don't want to make any typos here we're just gonna go over and I'm gonna grab it from the code over here so wait for this to load up alright and we're just gonna go and I'm gonna grab this right here I will um, in the description I will post all the links to these pictures here just to make it easier for you guys so you can copy and paste these links instead of having to type them all out alright make 
should we add proper quotations there we go and there's our image all right now we want to close out the div that we gave the ID of XPIC and we are also going to close out the div that is X container all right so now moving on here we are going to create a div with the class of watch container and this will be creating the element um, below as you guys can see right here, this will be uh, creating this element and this text below. So now we've, we're have we going to add the styling for this that will center that and give it the proper sizing and text in a minute here, but now we're just going to create that below. <coughs> All right. So there we go. We got div with a class of watch container. And we are going to give it a span that has an ID of imagination. All right. And then we're going to put in the text here, imagination is a gift, and then we'll close out that span tag. All right, next up here, we are going to go ahead and create a div with an ID of shop watch. All right, and that text is gonna be shop last minute gifts. There we go. Alright, so we close out that, and now this is actually, there we go, just make sure you have a div closing tag there. So now that we've got that, we're going to go ahead and create a div with the ID of watch. And what this is going to do is contain the picture of the Apple Watch. So we're going to go ahead and do that. we got IMG SRC to get the image, and we are going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this link over here. Right here. And we'll copy that and paste that in there. All right, so now you guys can see we've got our watch picture, we have our iPhone picture, and it looks like our iPhone text is MIA at the moment, but we will fix that in our styling when we give it the proper coloring, I believe. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead, we've got our watch container, we've got our watch picture, and now let's go ahead and just close out these divs as well. Close out the uh, div for the with the ID of watch and the div with the class of watch container. All right, so now let's head over to our CSS here. And we are going to uh, finish up styling our, our nav bar. We're gonna add the size for the the text that makes up the iPhone X and the uh, iWatch divs and we're going to keep moving along. So there we go, we've got header um, div span. So what I'm doing here is I'm targeting the spans that are within the header, uh, the div with the header class. So that's what that little, um, let's see, greater than uh, symbol is doing that will target all the divs or is targeting the div within the header div or the class. It's targeting the div that is within the div that has the class of header, and then it's targeting all the spans that are within that div. All right, so now we're gonna give that a padding on the right of 3EM, and a padding on the left of 3EM as well. So there we go, that's a little bit better spaced out there. Uh, now we're gonna give these uh, text elements on our nav bar a hover effect. So we're again gonna target the div and the span, <coughs> and the spans within the div, and then we're just going to say uh, colon hover, which will specify that when we have our mouse over these uh, span elements, that they are going to perform whatever actions we put within here. And we just want the color to change to be 959595. All right, there we go. Now let's give our X container some styling here. So that's going to be text align center that'll move over our picture and the text as well. And now we are going to say color of hashtag 111111 and a padding along the top of 8EM. All right, 
So now we can see our text popping out there. Uh, now we want to go ahead here and add the styling for our text. So this is the text that is the iPhone X and say hello to the future. So we're going to go ahead and say hashtag X and we're going to say font size and that's going to be 55 pixels and then we are going to go ahead and give it a font weight that is 900 uh, that is 900 so that'll give us uh, make that look a little bit better there now we're going to give the styling for the uh, X hello ID which is just what we which we gave the div that contains this text right here so now we're going to go ahead and do that and that'll be a margin on the top of 0.5 EM to give it a little separation uh, a font size that is 30 px and a font weight that is 500 okay so now we've got our text there and now we're gonna go ahead and add this similar styling to the text for the watch and the watch image so let's go ahead and say uh, let's go ahead and grab our watch container so again we're targeting the uh, div that has the class of watch container with period watch container and then we're going to add our styling here so we're going to say text align center and we're going to give it a margin on the top of 0.8 em all right so now that we've got that let's go ahead and add our styling for the imagination id all right and we're going to give it a font size of 55 px and a font weight of 900 all right there we go cool all right so now we're going to go ahead and give our shop watch the styling as well and with that will be a font size of 27 px and a font weight of 500 all right so there you guys can see we're coming along pretty well here all right so next up here we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a class or we are going to give the styling for a class that will later add to some of our divs within the HTML that is going to be Mac grid so again we're going to use CSS grid and we're going to say display grid and grid template columns specifying the size of the columns moving across the page and that is going to be 1fr 1fr alright and we're gonna say grid row gap and that is going to be 1em and then we're gonna say grid column gap and that is gonna be 1em as well so what this is doing is it's adding a gap within the fractions that make up the page of 1em down the middle and then we're gonna have 1em along the bottom as well so that will add a little bit of this separation that we can see here so if you see we have these two sections then we have a thin white line moving down the middle and then below it we again have that thin white line so that's what our grid column gap and our grid row gap are doing so now that we've got our Mac grid here let's head back over to our HTML and we are going to go ahead here and we are going to add in our div now that is going to contain these elements that are make up our grid. So we're going to say div with a class of Mac grid. And we're going to nest a div that is going to have the class of iMac. And that will contain all the information on the left here. This, this div that we see here. And within that, we are going to go ahead and say div with a class of head text we'll add the styling for this in just a second here and we're gonna say iMac Pro alright now we are going to add another div with the class of subhead text and within this one we are going to put available now and again we're gonna style this in just a second here but for now we're just gonna add our divs with these respective classes so now we're gonna go ahead and add uh, another image which is going to be the iMac and we're going to I'm going to grab the link over here and paste that in so we got this right here and again if you guys are following along the link will be in the description for you guys to grab all right, so we got that, and we'll close out that, and then we're gonna close out the iMac div, and we're gonna close out the div that makes up our Mac grid. 
No, we're not going to close that out. Just kidding. We are actually just going to close out the iMac div. Okay, so now we've got that. Let's scroll down here and see how we're looking. Looks like we need to add a little margin between um, imagination and our iPhone here in a second. But there we go. We've got our picture. We've got our text. And we're going to keep moving along here. And we are going to go ahead over to our CSS now. And we are going to give the iMac class some styling. So it's going to again be text aligned center in order to move all our elements over into the middle there. And we are going to give it a background color that is hashtag 1A, 1A, 1A. All right, now we're going to give it a our text a color, which is going to be hashtag FA, FA, FA. And we've got that there. All right, now we want to go ahead here and we want to add the the a little bit of margin between our iMac along the top here um, in order to create a little separation. So we're going to target the ID iMac and we're going to give it a margin on the top of 3EM. Alright, and we are going to go ahead and now create our class that is, or the styling for our class that is head text. So we're going to give it a font size of 40px, a font weight of 700, and a padding along the top of 1.25EM. All right, so now we've got that looking pretty good. That spaces that out well there. All right, so next up here, we're going to go ahead and add the uh, styling for our text below this, below the iMac Pro. So we're going to go ahead here and call it, again, we're going to, this is subhead text is the name of the class that we used. So we're going to give it the styling of, with a font size of 20px and a font weight of 200. Okay, cool. So there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and move back over to our HTML within the div that is MacGrid, and we are going to create another div uh, below that, which is going to contain our iPhone 8. So we're just going to open up a div here, and without any classes or anything, and then we're going to open up another div below that um, with the class of iPhone 8. All right, and now we are going to go ahead here and create a div with the class of uh, head text again because we want to use the same styling as we used for our iMac div on the left there. And that is going to contain the text iPhone 8. Close out that div, and then we're going to go ahead and open up another div with the class of sub head text. Again, using the same styling just to keep it um, keep it even across the screen, and we're going to say a new generation of iPhone. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to add the image with a source, and we are going. I'm going to go grab this link here, and this will be our iPhone picture. Okay, so now we can scroll down here and we see. There we go, scrolling down, and there we go. So we've got our picture, we've got our text. Now again, just like last time, guys, we want to align that in the middle, and we're going to add the uh, little extra formatting. So we've got that, we've got the iPhone 8. Um, let's go ahead and let's close out our iPhone 8 div, and we're going to close out this other div that was just above that one. There we go. So now let's head over to our CSS here and add this styling. So we're going to say iPhone 8, and we are going to give it a text align that is going to be in the center, and a background color that is hashtag F9F0EB. All right, and these background colors, I uh, are matched up with these images here. So that might be an O. Let's go check here. Hmm. All right. So it looks like that's not the right color. So I'm going to use this little handy tool here 
called Color Picker, and what this can do is it'll sample any uh, colors from your screen. So there we go, we've got the proper hashtag uh, hexadecimal color for that, and we're going to give that the proper color there. For some reason, it doesn't appear to be giving it the right color, but let's see what happens here. Keep moving, and it should fix up. All right. Okay. So now let's go ahead and give our iPhone uh, 8 pick a little styling. So this picture in particular is not sized properly for um, the screen exactly because in order to do this here, I actually used snipping tool just to grab a bunch of the images off the uh, off the Apple.com website in order to to piece this together here. So we're going to uh, add a little styling to this picture just to format it a little bit better so it aligns properly with the iMac Pro uh, div that we have here on the left. So let's give it a margin on the top of 3EM and a height of 469px. Okay. There we go. And I actually made a small typo over here. So there we go. That'll fix that up. And iPhone 8. All right. We got to give our move over to the HTML real quick and we're just going to give our uh, picture the the uh, ID of iPhone 8 pick. All right. So here we go see how we're looking here there we go now it looks right all right cool so moving along here now we're gonna go ahead and <clears throat> give our TV picture um, a little styling but we are going to hold off on that I'm getting a little ahead of myself here first we want to add in the next the next row of the next row of pictures here so that is going to be our TV, our watch, and then a, later our iPad Pro and this hol and um, oh, looks like our text is a little messed up there, but we're going to add that in as well. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and create another div below this one, which is going to be um, another div below this one, which is going to be have the class of iWatch. So this will be for our next uh, grid element below, and that'll be iWatch, and then we are going to say image source, and we'll go grab that link real quick. All right, we got that. There we go, and we've got image source, and now we want to go ahead here and add a div with the text freedom calls, and a period after that, and then we're going to close out that div, and then we're going to open up another uh, image tag, and this is going to have the image that will be our, uh, be the watch itself. So we got that, and bring that over here, paste that in. right and there we go all right so now that we've got that we are going to go ahead and close out this div that uh, close out the iWatch div and we are going to open up another div with the class of 4k all one word here so we got 4k and in here we are going to put another image so let's go grab that right and then below that we are going to add another uh, div with the text of the 4k HDR era now playing so we'll go ahead and add that in below there and then after that we're going to go ahead and add in this final image with the ID of TV all right 
So there we go, and we're going to close out the 4K div. Okay, so now you guys can see here, we're coming along. And we've got our pictures here, we've got our text, and again, we're going to go ahead and add our styling. So let's head back over to our CSS here, and let's give our TV uh, picture a height of 469px. Again, the reason we're doing this is just to adjust the sizing of the picture a little bit because, again, the snipping tool wasn't exactly accurate as far as the scaling goes. So we have to adjust the size of the pictures just to make the layout look a little cleaner. And now we are going to go ahead and add the styling for our second row. So I'm just going to put in a comment here, uh, row 2. And we're going to give the iWatch class... We're going to give the iWatch class a text, uh, we're going to align the text in the center here, and we're going to give it a font size of 20px. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and add some styling for our 4K class, which is going to have a background color of hashtag 020814, and uh, the text align in the center move all our elements into the center, um, a color of white for the text, and a font size of 20px. Okay. Uh, there we go. So now let's check out what we got here. And there we go. So that's looking a little bit better now. You can see we're coming along here pretty well. We've got a couple more to add in here, which are going to be the iPad Pro and the This Holiday here. And then I'll briefly go over how to add these things at the end here. But just to summarize that, it's more or less just a grid, and we're putting the span elements within uh, one of the grid divs and placing that in the middle of the page. Okay, so now let's head back over here, and we're going to add another div and this one here is going to have the class of iPad Pro and we're going to go ahead and add another div below that with the class of head text and that is going to have the text iPad Pro and then we're going to add another div with the class of subhead text and this is going to have the text anything anything uh, you can do, you can do better. All right. And we'll close out that div. And now we want to add in our image here. That is our iPad Pro. So we've got IMG SRC. Open up our image tag here. And let's go ahead and grab our iPad Pro link to our picture. All right. We'll paste that in there. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead here and add our, uh, we're going to close out this div, the iPad Pro div, and we're going to open up another one. And this one is going to be, uh, this one is going to have a class of absoluted. So what I'm doing here, uh, what we're going to do with this later is add the styling that will move the text on top of the image in order to um, display the text because I had a small issue with grabbing this picture here. Um, couldn't First of all, couldn't find a very high quality picture that is this one and I didn't want to just copy and paste this whole um, div here. Oops. Alright, so I didn't want to just copy and paste this whole div here. So we've got that. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna add the absolute positioning for the text, which means that it stays in that position um, on that page, the exact position you specify, and it doesn't necessarily move relative to the other elements here. So we're gonna have a div with the class of subhead text, and this is going to say move someone. And we're going to close out that div. And then below that, we want to have a, the text. So we're going to open up another div in order to create a line below that. And we're going to give it an ID of holiday. And then we're going to say uh, this holiday for that text. And then we'll close out that div. And then we're going to give another ID, uh, div with the ID of watch sway. And this, oh, watch sway. 
And inside this div, we are going to have the text watch and sway. We'll close out that one. We'll close out our absoluted div, and we are going to add in the image for our the image that is this low pixel image here which if you guys can find a better one definitely use that one because this image is not a quality one so we'll go ahead and grab that link right there and we're gonna add that okay and then we're gonna close out the absoluted div here and we're gonna close out the one below that Oh, looks like that's closing out the iPad Pro div. So we actually, let's see. We want to make sure we add an extra closing div tag right here. So that this one corresponds properly with the top of our, with the top of our page. All right, and we also want to add an ID of sway to this image here for our styling later on. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to move back to our CSS here. And we are going to um, add the styling that makes up this here. So let's go ahead and create our, or add the styling for our iPad Pro class. And we're going to text align to center. All right, and then we're going to add the styling for our top image class, and this is going to be margin top of 3EM. All right, and now we are going to add the styling for our sway image, which we gave the ID of sway, and we're going to say width 100%. All right, next up here, we are going to add the styling for the absoluted text, which will place the text on top of our sway image. Again, this is not the best way to do this, but unfortunately, given our circumstances here, trying to recreate the web page, we don't have the quality images and can't necessarily add them, add the text, say, in like Photoshop, and then just put that image in there, which would be the better way to do this, but we're making it work with what we got here. So we're going to say position absolute. Uh, top, so this will move it down from the top 2,463 pixels. Um, then we're going to say left 65% just to move it over from the uh, left side of the page over to the right. And then we are going to go ahead and give our text a color that is white and a font size of 50px. All right, so now we want to add our styling for holiday, which will uh, add the styling for the this holiday text. And we're going to go ahead here and say font size of 40px, a font weight of 700. And we're going to align the text in the center. OK, and now we just want to add the styling for our the div with the ID of watch sway. And we're going to say font size 20px, text aligned, center, and a margin on the top of 0.5 EM. All right, so now let's go ahead and scroll down here and see what we got. looking good looks like we need to resize our image there a little bit uh, let's see here oh looks like we got a little typo there okay and we got that ID of sway hmm okay there it is. Just had to fix that typo there. So now we've got our text there. Uh, we got the watch sway. Um, looks like we need to adjust our positioning a little bit here. And I want to change this class over here to to be head uh, head text in order to make that a little larger. So now we can go ahead and check that out. So that's looking a little better. It looks like we want to um, adjust our pixel, um, the the height of the text as it moves down the page. Looks like we overdid it on the top 
pixel uh, value here. So we're going to make that 23 and see where that goes. All right, and we're going to do 22 and eh, 23. We'll make it 20. Hmm. Let's just make it 2300 and see what happens. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And let's move it over a little bit more from the left here. So we'll do 66% and try 67. There we go. So that's looking a little bit better. All right, so here we go. So this is what we've got so far, guys. We've got our header. It has the mouse over properties that are going to adjust the color of the elements in the in the header slash navbar. Uh, we've got the iPhone X say hello to the future. We've got our imagination is a gift section here. We've got our iMac Pro, our iPhone 8 section. Uh, we've got our Apple Watch, our Apple TV section, and then we've got our iPad Pro and move someone this holiday watch sway. Uh, something to do would be to add a hyperlink to this division here in order to maybe jump right to that video. And that should do it. All right, so thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely leave them below in the comments section. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you guys subscribed, if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a great day.